welcome back to another episode of Champion Secrets. Today, I'm covering your question on how can I hit the shots more cleanly, especially when I'm stretching? So that is a great question and it's a concern for lots of people because it's really difficult to hit a clean and crispy shot when you're under pressure. So when you're stretching out, either overhead or out to the side or out in front of you, that's when you're more vulnerable for mishits. So to hit a clean shot, I'm gonna give you three helpful hints. The first has to do with preparing your racket face. So your racket face is this part of the racket, the strings. We call it a face because this is the head and this is the face, just like on you. So to prepare your racket face, you want it to be open at the front, open flat to the approaching shuttle. Because think about it, if the shot is coming towards you, it's going to have an easier chance to bounce on the strings if the racket is flat. If the racket is facing this way when the bird is approaching, then there's more room for mishits because then it's hitting the strings on an angle or maybe you're moving the strings at the last second. So if you open up that racket face and keep it approaching, so the shuttle's approaching at a perpendicular angle to the strings, you'll cut down those miss hits at the front court. So for the forehand, it would be opening up the face this way. And for the backhand, it would be opening up the face this way. Now you might think, well, that makes my play too basic but actually it's the opposite. When you get good at holding your racket face open, then you can actually increase your deception because you're able to hold the shuttle longer and wait till the very last second before you make your shot, which forces your opponent to delay their movement and they don't get any clues on where you're gonna hit it. Whereas if you don't open your racket face, you end up making a move before you hit and that gives away the clues of what you're gonna do. If you do a wind up, then it shows you're gonna lift. If you keep it on an angle, then it shows you're gonna hit cross. So there's a lot of benefits for getting used to opening the racket face as you're stretching to the front court. When it comes to the back court and we want to steady our shots and make less miss hits, then what we want to do is add a little bit of a pause, a split second before we connect with the shuttle and before we start our swing. We pause here and that's going to steady the vibrations and the flow of the energy so that you can harness it and target it right into the shot. A metaphor I use with my students is to imagine like you're balancing a glass of water or a wine glass on the edge of your racket. So you want it to be steady back there so that you don't spill it and dump it on yourself. It needs to be steady before you swing to allow for that calmness that's gonna harness the energy into the shuttle and reduce the amount of mishits. The third tip I'm gonna give you that will help you reduce the mishits in your shots, especially when you're stretching under pressure has to do with your breathing. And it's something I learned from a really great Indian coach about learning that you need to time your in-breath and your out-breath to coordinate with the contact of the shuttle. And it really helps me, especially when I'm on defense, because what you wanna do is time your out-breath or your exhale to match with the contact of the shuttle. So you, your in-breath or your inhalation happens when you're moving to the shot. And then when you're hitting, you can exhale. And what that does is calms your muscles and connects you more to the shot. And I find it really reduces the miss hit. So at the back line, in-breath, out-breath. In-breath, out-breath. You can do it any shot around the court. And sometimes it might be just because as you get more tired, your breath gets more shallow and faster. So you need to sometimes force the out breath. So it might be And 
and I'm exaggerating just so you can hear the timing, but think about that and try it out. And it's really neat to experiment and to realize you probably might not, I know I hadn't even thought of that before I was instructed on this. I hadn't even really been aware of my breathing during the rally. I knew that I should take deep breaths in between the rally, but I didn't think about what's happening with my breathing during the rally. So try those tips out. Let me know in the comments below. See you next time.